Hello everybody, this is Mr. Bowen. So we're looking at the 1.9 handout here. Uh, we're looking at question three. So just a little bit. All right, so we have the United States Department of Education keeps track of how many associate degrees, bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, and doctoral degrees are attained each year by men and women. The two-way table below, or contingency table, shows the number of degrees and thousands attained in the 2015-2016 school year, rounded to the nearest thousand students. So. That's important to know here. It's rounded to the nearest thousand. So when we're looking at these, um, these are in thousands. So doctoral degrees for women would be 94,000. Okay, so just keep that in mind. All right, suppose you select, randomly select a person who attained one of the degrees in the, the year. What is more likely that a person selected is a woman who attained a master's degree, so first one, or that a person selected is a man who attained a bachelor's degree. Explain your reasoning. So... Uh, this one we don't actually have to work out. We have a, a couple options on how to approach this. You can work out each one. But looking at this one, they're both going to be out of my overall survey, right? Out of the 3892. So let's just see which one's higher. So we have a woman with a master's degree. Or a man with a bachelor's degree. Okay, So how many women got master's degrees? That would be 465. And how many men got bachelor's degrees? That would be 822. So which one would be more likely to pick? So it should be the higher one, so it should be a man with a bachelor's degree, which is not really shocking because they give out a lot more bachelor's degrees in general than master's degrees. So that one should be more likely just because there are more of them to choose from. All right. And so part B, suppose you randomly select a person who attained one of the degrees in 2015, 2016, which is more likely now, the person attained a doctoral degree given, ooh, this one's careful, you know, that the person was a woman, or that the person selected was a woman given that they attained a doctoral degree. Explain your reasoning. These seem like they should be pretty similar, but honestly, they're not that given is very, very different, okay? So these ones will probably want to actually work out and see how it sets up. So this one, and the part that makes it different is what's given. So this one, given the person was a woman, so I'm only gonna look at the women's row here, okay? So how many doctor degrees did they give out? That would be, or for the women, so that'd be 94 divided by how many women were there? 2274. Or I'm looking at the second one. It's given their doctoral degree, so I'm narrowing it down to my doctoral degree column. It's still 94, but how many doctoral degrees they give out was 178. So if you want to get decimals for this, you can, but I hope that at this point you can look at this and realize since they're both 94, when you divide by 2,274, that's going to be a whole lot smaller than dividing by 178. So explain your reasoning on this one. It should be more likely. Um, let me make sure I'm reading this question correctly. So yeah, so it should be more likely um, in this scenario because they're dividing by a much smaller number of how many doctoral degrees they get out than how many um, women overall were in this study. So. All right, that's question three.